Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel today We're gonna get into something new on the channel I'm finna start dropping reviews So Today we got Diablo 4 Oh, 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 oh hold your horses, it's just a beta But I'm gonna tell y'all the good and the bad so, before we get into anything, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts after you try the beta, because it is free to play right now through this whole weekend. 24th through, through Monday. So, get on that. Alright, okay. So, first... He's gonna get right into it, but this is still gonna be a pretty long video, so buckle up, my guy. But the rubber banding. Oh my gosh, the rubber banding was just non-stop. You load into an area, you you getting shot backwards. You walk next to somebody, you, you getting shot backwards. At least at first, when you log in. Speaking of log in, what are those Q times? We gotta get out a moment of silence because holy, it took me 55 minutes and I, I, I logged out on accident. I was already in the game after I had to wait like a 30. Waited a 30, got in the game, accidentally exited out of the game, had to wait a 55. Now I'm not new to ARPGs, so this is literally just like another path of exile to me, right? Which, I'm gonna say right now, Path of Exile seems more, yeah, my style. If they would just add some more, f like, I can't wait for Path of Exile 2, to be honest. Because I feel like that's more in-depth than this. And this is very, very beginner-friendly. Because, I'll tell you what, these bosses... They don't stand a chance against the DPS we dumping out, really. I don't even get to see their mechanics most of the time. But that we're going to get into that later because I think that involves my character, which is <laughs> this character, man. We'll get into that later, though. So while it's here, we'll talk about the early game. Okay, so you start out with a skill. You start out with one, really. And you get to pick. Good thing you can respect whenever you want. I like that. Very, uh, very accessible, you know, to let you do all of this for really nothing at the beginning. Because uh, you see, I started the game out as a, a blood, a bloodbender, pretty much, and it was weak. So I had a, I had to switch it up. Ended up going, what's it called? Decompose? <laughs> Bruh. Decompose made the game basically brain dead from the moment I got it. And you're going to be able to see that later on with the build I got set up. Because it's literally, uh, let's just say, it's probably the strongest class in the game. Yeah, like, no lie. Um, I would, like, skip around the gameplay, but we're still talking about, like, early game. So, yeah. Uh, early game started out. Bloodbender. Pretty weak. Got decomposed. And also, corpse explode. Two best things you can have on this sort on What is this? What am I playing? I'm playing as a necromancer. Because I knew... Necromancer would be kind of cracked, and I keep hearing like Barbarian really sucks. And I wasn't about to chase down no bots with no fucking melee, especially in this game. I'm pretty sure if I did, it'd make the game 20 times harder than it really would, because I'm just hitting the two buttons and the whole lob, like the whole lobby, nah, like the whole mob is are they just gone yep gone just like that just explode 
and then you could use their corpse to blow up more mobs. So I'm like, yeah. From the beginning, I already knew this was gonna be easy. All you gotta really do is play positioning. That's nothing, especially, it's just, you gotta pace yourself and that's easy after you play path, so, or POE, whatever people call it. So yeah, how I'm starting this video is we're gonna do the good and then we're gonna get to the bad. So we're still in the good, we're still cool. We, we got, we got some good stuff going on right here. Uh, early gameplay, pretty nice. Skill tree doesn't feel, uh, doesn't feel too restrictive pretty nice some moves you just not even gonna use because literally I kind of like wanted to get down and unlock all my abilities so I just started going like for two moves and then go down after you you know get enough skill points to to you know move down and just did it like that until all my whole bar was unlocked so I was basically uh, just deleting stuff from early game uh, this is not really uh, a good area right here to be like talking about me deleting stuff because this is when I still had the blood and I did end up changing my build so this was me getting the feel for it and you can kind of see like what I'm used to this, so, you know, I can move around the map pretty fluent and get stuff done. So that was nothing, but it's just, let's talk about some graphics. So uh, the graphics are, they pretty, they are actually decent, like above decent for real, especially cause we're on, I'm on the Xbox, what I'm playing on. And yeah, the hood, I used to see I used to see like the HUD was different back in the day or that might be when you play co-op like couch co-op it changes the HUD but it wasn't like this before and that was ugly I like this one and it fits like in the corner all nice so you can see a full screen full of stuff so it makes everything in the world pop out pretty nice graphics is buffing that's what they say out there. One more thing I could say about uh, the good thing of this is um, I like the story. The story so far is what kept me wanting to play. Because honestly, the gameplay, once you play like something like Path of Exile, I keep bringing it up, but that's really <laughs> the only thing, you know close to this and once you play something like that though it's brain numbing to just run around and just press buttons I don't know because literally once you get strong enough everything dies in one shot but oh the cutscenes that's another plus but we'll get into that later but watch this cutscene uh but yeah it's, it feels kind of button mashy a little bit because there's barely any cooldowns on anything so I'm just running through just pressing buttons hoping stuff works sometimes honestly and it doesn't really feel strategized especially I'm, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty there is the veteran 2 well not the hardest because I'm not playing hardcore even though I haven't died yet though I haven't even died Oh wait, that's a lie. We died to the butcher one time. Or maybe maybe more than once. I can't remember, but yeah, like other than that, I don't think anything, anything else? else in this was that hard, even on veteran 2. So the game is in a weird spot because it kind of feels like a beat em up when you just run around insta killing mobs and light. just walking pretty much. I don't know that could be a good or a bad thing too grindy of a game will make it bad but not grindy enough it's like what are we playing here you know but last but not least the cutscenes like I was saying yeah 
cutscenes. I like how they show your character. You see my guy. I don't know why he look like a. I don't know. He remind me of like a black Loki in the face for some reason. Or actually, no. He look like he like the black version of that that one guy from God of War who was helping Kratos, the little uh, short dude. If you would have seen his face when he turned around in that cutscene, you cannot tell me that he did not look like the dude with the hammer who was like pulling shit out of his pocket. <laughs> and that shit was like, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, in the cutscenes, they show your character, which is pretty fire. Uh, they take your gear off, so make sure your face is what you want it to look like. Because I got a mask on nowadays, and they just take my shit off in the cutscene. Which I'm fine with, I guess. But I wish it still showed my, like... It does show your armor, though, I think. I haven't gotten a cutscene with my newer character, so I can't confirm. But I know they take your mask off, for sure. But... <coughs> Yeah, I think that wraps it up for the the good of the game. So let's get into the bad. Um, like I was saying at the beginning, rubber banding, that was kind of a major issue throughout the first, what, three hours of my gameplay probably. So that was huge. Uh, now I play a little bit of co-op and I play I play the in-game solo. So yeah, I played some dungeons with co-op. I played some of life, some of world events or whatever they call with co-op. All recorded. All will be in this video. Even my in-game character will be in this video. I got a little bit of stuff here. Uh, after I finish recording this. So I got like a different mask and stuff but other than that this is like this is all this stuff in my video is what my build is and you could copy it because it's really broken like i don't think i've tried a lot of different stuff in the tree it's really not really much else it's like some uh he also gave me this some little what is this what do you call them ancient order more debuff Kind of stuff so to protect sanctuary for a buff kind of stuff left in the skill These tree, but other than that, that, that there is another my project. stuff is basically all wrapped around DPS. His breadth of knowledge about being ah, uh, the voice acting in this game. Here, this man out sounds like he could help us. Mm. You should seek him out in Skosglein, but don't forget about the cathedral. They'll be expecting you, and they might prove to be useful allies too. You're not coming with me. Voice acting was, it, it wasn't cringe, except for that one part when Guy is on the floor choking on the blood. That was, kind of, was kind of cringe the second time I heard it. The first time I heard it, it was like, all right, yeah, he sound like he kind of dying in the booth, a little bit of, a little bit of blood in the lung. But the second time I heard it, I was like, nah, son, they sound like he's a demon. <laughs> I swear if you heard it, that's exactly how man sound. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, my end game build is kind of cracked now. You can see in the video, this is when I switched to, you know, uh, decompose. And our uh, first world event. Now, there were people also there helping. You see he's playing, I think that's the druid who can turn into animals, which I might have to play him through tomorrow and get my druid to level 25, because man, that class is crazy. But yeah, first, first world event, and it's a ritual, so we just basically have to survive. That's what it was, like, just round based. Can't hurt her until like everybody else is dead and then she'll come out but at the same time she's trying to get their help to come to her like I don't know, they're trying to get her get them to come to her to make her stronger you know so we just gotta stop them then she'll come out and then we take her down and i actually ended up getting some legendaries here and if you farm this this specific like live event 
bro, I was getting legendary. Well, not legendary, but golds back to back. Cause there's a difference between gold and actual legendary. I got, I got legendaries now in the end game. Cause those are orange. Golds are just like ultra rares or something like that. So that's how that works. But yeah, that, these are how you farm ultra rares for sure. There's the live events and dungeons like any other, you know, ARPG for real, for real, bro. I don't know. It's something about actually seeing other people in the world and helping you fight. That's a plus. Okay, now since I keep dragging on about the good, let's get to the bad. Now, as you see, this whole entire fight, we've been lagging. Like, not even lagging, because I don't feel it. It's literally all visual, but I think it's, yeah, server-side lag for sure, because, uh... I'm wired, nothing on my end, and I don't feel it, like, no delay in my buttons, so... It's just all server visual lag. Like, this happens a lot. Skeletons will jitter out, and sometimes when you load into a new world, it fucking rubber bands you back. I don't know why, you might see it when I load into this place, like when I walk into this place. Oh wait, I have turned around, so never mind. But yeah, rubber banding was an issue, along with like server lag. Uh, funny thing is like we didn't know when you could group up in this game so like uh i had told my friend like let me know when you connect to the world server he's like he's like i don't know when that'd be and i'm like oh yeah you'll know you'll know and as soon as he loaded into like an area where he could play online the lag was just same as mine skeleton lag was horrible and you know you connected to that world server. Trust. One thing else about the bad is, you know, uh, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's hard. It's hard. Because you can't really get on to it too much because it's a beta. You don't know what's going to change in the end. But uh, one thing else about the bad is, the bosses are way too easy. I feel like as a necromancer, the boss is off screen for me and my skeletons are just whooping me. They're taking all the focus and anything that goes near my skeleton insta dies because I'm just over there decomposing and sucking the life out of anything in the area. Leaves a body on the ground for me to decompose. I mean, to decompose, for me to corpse explode and that does extra damage to the boss and i just leveled that up and it seemed very very broken as you can see in this gameplay anything that walked near a dead body would also take massive damage to where it was just like i'm about to just spam hold a and spam rb and literally as you're doing that you gain more essence if you go with the right skill tree so like i'm just walking around with that stuff instantly on cooldown insta never running out refilling up at the same time you know as i'm using it with the skeletons out pretty broken if you ask me makes the game uh a little too easy because you don't have to pay any attention to the mechanics especially if you get down lower in the necromancer skill tree where you can get life steal and you just basically can't be touched and that makes me feel bad because these melee users be out here risking it all, taking all the damage. So they got to have like no choice but to build tanky. And we could just build any way we want. We could just build life skill. We could build, you know, range damage. And we could play movement if we really wanted to. Crazy. Now I put this right here because it's not a big deal for everyone, but it's a big deal for me. Now, we were, I was trying to live stream the game, but for some reason on Xbox, it would just leave the stream paused the whole time. It does that sometimes when it's like a weird certain beta game, but it's an open beta, so I don't see why I couldn't record. That's why this video will have a watermark, because I got to do it a different way than I'm normally used to 
literally just uploading it straight off the stream. So I can't do that. So, if you're wondering why that's on screen, yeah, now you know. Thanks for watching this deep. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now I'm gonna get into my closing thoughts to wrap this video up, make it at least like 25-ish minutes, you know? So, overall, Diablo looks good. Uh, can't necessarily say it plays 100% yet, because it still needs some shit worked out. Uh, definitely looks good, yeah. Uh, gameplay loop. It's a little boring after you play and beat Path of Exile and all that extra. A little boring compared to that. Uh, uh, let's see. World events. That's... that's a highlight of the gameplay. I see how that could be fun on release. Now, $60 price tag, 70 on inflation. I don't know. Do I see myself getting this? Not until I see what is uh, fully in in-game. Because there's a lot of stuff missing. Especially because you can only go to level 25. Uh, there's a whole bottom part of the skill tree you can't access, but you can look at what the class has, which I guess is alright, but you can't try it and see what it does, you know? So, that's a minus. Uh, hmm, let's see. We got gameplay. Uh, I said visuals. Uh, bosses. Uh, so overall, I guess the game, yeah, yeah, until I see more, I'm not buying it, yeah, that's my final thoughts, I'm not buying it yet, it's not, it's not bought, it's not sold, not sold just yet, uh, especially cause all the issues with Xbox right now that have been mentioned and you see on that on screen it's not it right now especially because you will have to find another like a group you'll have to have a group of friends that also spend 70 dollars on this i if I, if this game was to come to game pass i feel like it would blow up and you wouldn't even need you know all of that because seeing from the the beta stuff there's already a million people who played it who bought the game though and hit level 20 so ain't no telling who didn't buy it but with this it's only going to inflate the numbers you know so i don't know i gotta put my opinion out there and say i'm not quite so yet. you know i'm not quite so especially if uh path of exile 2 if that comes out to be free and Diablo won seventy dollars for a, a game like this. I'm not sold. So that's my thoughts. Uh, if I was to give it a number, hmm, I say it's it's only like a it's only like a eight point four out of ten. It can't even be an eight point five because we haven't seen much of anything of the end game and that's what you're going to be playing the most so the beginning you can't even say any of this counts like especially because they said in the real game your character is not transferring over all you get is a back bling you still gotta restart your character so a lot of this could get changed but judging from the just the early game i'm not sold uh, I could lower this down to just a 7. Truly, because there's literally nothing here after you beat everything. There's nothing here still. Can't judge anything. So, the end game is what they're hiding, and that's what you're playing the most. So, I dropped it a whole nother score. Like, that goes from 8 to a 7. Uh, if they let you go to at least... Hmm, I say like 35, 40, then we probably could have had a 
excellent beta, but you gotta take multiple characters to level 25 only, and all their stuff is in in-game, so. That about wraps it up. That packed it up for me, for sure. Uh, get that mug at eight, nah, seven. And that's my thoughts on the Diablo beta. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for the third time of this video. And the last time. And hey, make sure you leave a comment for sure. And let me know if you like the beta or what you agree with or disagree with. Share the video if you liked it. Don't worry about the watermark on the screen. It ain't going to be there next time.